All right, guys, a little bit of a different video today. No camera, we're just gonna get right into it. All of our compositions off with an alpha background node. That just means a transparent background node. And we're gonna grab two more backgrounds and merge them over top of one another. We'll set one to red, one to white. Grab a polygon node. And we're just gonna draw a wedge. Three points should do it. If you're OCD like me, you can really take your time and fiddle with it, get it right in the middle, make it completely 90 degrees. Totally up to you. You could technically do this with any shape. If you wanted squiggly lines, uh, squares, whatever. After that, we're gonna add a duplicate node after the top background. We're gonna set the number to 12, and then we're gonna right click angle and hit expression and we're gonna type in 360 divided by 12. Now, if you have less copies, just type in that number. If you have 10, 360 divided by 10. That will evenly space out all of the duplicates. From there, we're gonna go into this merge and that's how we're gonna spin our sun rays. Now, you might be wanting to add a transform and try that, but see what happens. it completely cuts off our background, which is a cool look. It might be something you wanna explore, but today we're gonna to do this in the merge node with the angle. We'll grab another background. I'm gonna show you the easiest way to add a stroke to any image, text, whatever. Grab a background and you run whatever you want to add a stroke to into the mask input. Then you add it, you row dilate, and then you merge it back over the object. Go into the merge and select merge under, and come back into the road and adjust the amount. A little bit goes a long way. You can switch your filter, but that is the complete easiest way to add a stroke to anything. All right, let's play with this background node. It doesn't have to be black. I'm gonna use yellow since we're doing my sun and sun rays. And you can play with your start and end and you see you'll get different looks. Now we're gonna to come to right before the media out and we're gonna add a soft glow and play with the gain size and threshold and we'll get a pretty neat little effect here. All right, let's go back into that merge node and set our angle. Start at zero, we'll go to the end and we'll just crank it up. smooth our animation now let's go check it out on the edit page and that's how you can create the ray background from scratch in davinci resolve big shout out to nicholson he gave me the idea for this tutorial he said he was going to make one and he never did here's his youtube let's all go bully him into making davinci resolve content thanks for watching like comment and subscribe we'll see you in the next one